Okay, this is Jim Mason's um, airlock system for a steam boiler. See, in front of the Gorton 2 main vents, I'm shining my flashlight on them, I have right there a Kalefi zone valve. And that blocks the return pipes from venting. Um, and that way it stops the radiators close, close to the boiler room from short circuiting and, and heating up first. Here's the Tecmar. The white part, the white thing, Tecmar 150 set point control, um, fed by one of these old transformers on the wall, that um, is, it has this temperature sensor on the end of the main, uh, at the far end of the house that was in the room over the garage that never heated. And now the steam has to make it there before this zone valve opens and allows the steam uh, to enter the radiators and it makes the house much more even. Okay here is part of that airlock system. It's hard to see. I'm shining my flashlight on it. Dark basement is um, uh, a very vent. A heat timer very vent that's on a T in front of the crossover trap. See the crossover trap won't work if I have the returns air locked. So I have an air vent in front of it and that uh, air vent is what allows the system to breathe and get the steam over here. So the steam is going through the mains but not crossing the radiators. And, and that is part of the airlock system. You want to get the air vents at the ends of the mains but not allow the steam into the return. Uh, are not allowed to steam into the radiators by airlocking the return. Okay, here we are in a room over the garage. And here we have a heat timer. You can see it nestled back there on the supply pipe to a radiator. Is the heat timer. And down below, behind that radiator clamp, is we can get a shot of it, maybe, maybe. See it down there? On the side of the pipe is a sensor for the Tecmar. When steam makes it here, steam has to come all the way into this room and go to the front of this radiator. And once steam makes it here, it has proven itself to be over the garage in the rooms that would never heat. And at that point, it triggers that switch the switch then turns the Tecmar steam is over here. The Tecmar closes the relay, allows power to go to that zone valve, opens up the air vents on the return pipe. And you actually hear the whoosh of air out of the return pipe vents at that moment. And then the rest of the radiators in the house can heat, but steam is now all the way across the house before it's cir circuited around the radiators that were closer to the boiler. And this, he says this is now, this room hasn't heat. He's lived here for a couple decades and this room would never heat right over the garage. Now, you know, it would when it was a coal boiler that never turned off. But now it heats and it heats well and he's very happy all because of air locking the system. Here is another radiator that's right on the other side of the wall from the one that we just looked at. And here you'll see the heat timer. What we're doing is giving the steam a way to follow the main without going through the, you know, crossing over, uh, pushing the air to the return. System works very well. We've done this in multiple buildings now, and it answers a problem when the boiler is at one side of the building and the farthest, farthest reaches on the other side don't want to heat because the thermostat gets happy before 